Hello. Now, we're gonna be learning about about L'Hopital's rule. Now, this works for some specific limits. No, three x. So four x over three x. The limit as x approaches infinity, four x over three x equals four infinity over three infinity, which equals infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So all we can do here is use L'Hopital's rule. Now, also, we're going to have to learn about differentiating functions, differentiating um, <clears throat> polynomials, which will be my topic tomorrow. So, all you can do is you can differentiate <clears throat> the numerator <coughs> and the denominator. Now, basically, here is L'Hopital's rule for infinity. There. Let's now use this. So this means you can differentiate both sides. So 4x, you can differentiate that. You then get 4. We now can move this over. And we get 4 over 3. Which is our answer. That's our limit. That's L'Hopital's rule. But the thing is, let's try... A different limit. The limit as x approaches 0 of x um, minus x x minus um, no, let's try a different limit. Limit as x approaches 0 of x over um, x. This gives us 0 over 0 and determine it. Use L'Hopital's rule. <clears throat> Substitute the infinity for zero. You know, can differentiate the x and the x. And then we get 1 over 1, which is 1. Our limit. Th that's basically it. That's, that's, that's L'Hopital's rule. Bye. You know what? Let's talk about differentiating polynomials, I guess. Because, you see... Today is my YouTube channel's fifth anniversary, so I think we should talk about two things today. Now, <clears throat> basically, we have a polynomial here, okay? Um, Now, the sum and difference rules, first of all. If you, if you add something, if you add various things together, it just stays the same. <clears throat> now, f prime of x, the derivative of x. The first rule we're going to talk about is the power rule. The power rule is a rule for exponents. So, x to the n. So, d over dx of x to the n equals n times x to the n minus 1. Now, that is unless there's already a coefficient of x in which you multiply n by the coefficient of x. So 3, 3x cubed, the derivative of that, multiply this by, by this, so we get 9, 
and then subtract 1 from the exponent. <coughs> 9x squared plus, <coughs> multiply these, subtract 1. We get 8x to the first power, or just 8x, plus, speaking of 8x, 8x. The derivative, next we're going to have to talk about the constant multiple rule. This equals, this means derivative of um, n times x equals n. So the derivative of 8x, so 8 is our n, the derivative of 8x is just 8. Same rule, 3. The final rule is just the constant rule. And this means the derivative of n equals 0, plus 0. So get rid of the plus 0. Now, combine the like terms. So this equals 9x squared plus 8x plus 11. That is our derivative. Thanks for watching. For real this time.